Hello, welcome to another Rotterdam Whitecore video. My name is Thijs, aka The Shaman Painter, and today I will be showing you how to paint up the hedges from the Kickstarter exclusive terrain set for the Song of Ice and Fire miniature game produced by Cool Mini or Not. These techniques can also be used for other scrubbery, uh, natural terrain sets, or other parts that uh, you can use in your gaming table. So let's get started. So as you guys can see, this will be the final result. After watching this video, you, you will be able to paint it up just like this. Um, as you can see, it's quite a good piece of uh, terrain for the Song of Ice Fire miniature game. What I first did was I started out with a Zenith highlight. So that's black with a white spray from above. I used the contrast paint from uh, a Citadel paint from Games Workshop to uh, start out uh, the layers of color. I wanted to go for a bit of a fall theme. So I started out with a yellow sunburned uh, top of Nasdaq yellow contrast paint. And uh, yeah, completely uh, painted the whole top part of the, of the hedges. And as you can see, it's quite a, a, a vibrant yellow color. Uh, but now we want to kind of make it feel like it's transitioning from summer to, uh, to fall. So starting out with plate bearer flash and uh, uh, while the Nasdaq yellow is still wet trying to transition it in and blending it all in uh, to make it look like it's uh, actually fading into uh, the uh, uh, in, from the one color to another color as you can see on this side I actually had to put it would have been smarter to uh, to uh, uh, to start out this project with a complete white base coat because the contrast paint isn't really working perfectly on the on the black uh, primer as you can see but it's working out just fine we will learn all along the way so for the bottom layer i use a dark green uh, contrast paint uh, this can be a dark angels green or uh, or more uh, uh, astro militarum a camouflage color and uh, this could also be wild wood or a more brown color it's all uh, it's all up to you but I like to use a little bit of dark color um, and just the same as the, the step before this actually painting it up and blending it in with the previous layer you have to be you don't have to be real fast but it's a uh, yeah you have to take your time blending all the colors don't blend it too much because the contrast paint mixes up quite easily. It stays wet for a longer time than normal paint. So what you will see if you blend it up too much, it will be a bit more of a blur and you actually lose a lot of pigment. Um, and just let it dry for a moment. And then the first thing I did was actually putting down a layer of sterling mud for the base. I based all the terrain pieces for the Kickstarter set this way. Um, it's easier than uh, painting it, uh, than gluing sand to the base and then painting it. Um, and I'm quite lazy with these terrain pieces. So take an old brush. I use an old watercolor uh, brush and put down large blobs of sterling mud. I also like sterling Bettelmeyer. There are two types of uh, sterling uh, paint. And then the nice thing about these paints is that if you want to layer this with uh, the, the paint sets, it's actually colored uh, j just the same way as dried bark from the uh, base layer uh, set and um, can easily be uh, highlighted with uh, Bane Blade Brown, Gorther Brown, uh, those kind of paints. Uh, be a bit more careful around the edges. There's a sharp lip on the edge that can be painted quite nicely with some steel legion drap or uh, another brown color or maybe black. But if you put, put down a texture paint on those parts it will be quite visible when you uh, paint over your uh, rim uh, color. So um, once once it was dried, I started with um, a dry brush of Death Card Brown, a Death Card Green, or Dead World Force actually. And we here use a, a piece of uh, tissue paper or a piece of uh, toilet paper. I really rub down most of the paint and just slowly dry brush over the, the surface and uh, what I wanted to do with uh, this color is actually 
uh, blend in the green with yellow a bit more. And then I started blending it more with Elysian green. And Elysian green is a more yellowish tone of green, which works out pretty good with um, the blending of the green and the yellow parts. And also make it a bit more vibrant. Uh, because I want to flock down the base with, uh, with grass and a bit, a bit of flowers and to tone it down a bit more to the summery side and leave the fall behind. And then O-Green o -green Camo uh, as, the, as the last color, which uh, can be applied uh, as the most vibrant color on top. I didn't really want to highlight it as much as, uh, as other parts as the, the hedges are quite natural of course. Um, but using that three-toned uh, uh, build-up from the dark screen, light screen, and the yellow really makes the, the hedges pop on the battle uh, on the battlefield. Um, and that's it. That's a simple way to uh, to paint up the models. Uh, I actually finished up the base with some uh, steel legion drap rim and some flocking, and that's it. If you like this video, please uh, like it. Uh, consider subscribing and if you want to support us even more you can also sign up for our patreon thank you very much for watching and see you next time